Hey guys, my name is Ram and welcome to yet another session by IntelliPath. So guys, this video is about tips to improve programming skills. Now, I know a lot of you out there who are watching this video have clicked on this video, especially thinking that you need to improve yourself in the field of coding. You know you're good, but you want to be better or you want to improve your overall way of thinking of how to code, right? So this video will entail all those details that will help you to improve your programming skills. So guys, before we get started, please make sure to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel to not miss out any on our future updates. So let's look at our agenda. So first, obviously, tips to improve programming skills, then we'll have a conclusion. And finally, we will end the video by discussing any further learning paths you guys can take to further improve your coding slash programming skills. So let's start the video. All right, guys, to better understand these tips, you know, let's get into someone's mindset. Let's imagine a character. We'll call him Jack. So Jack here works for Amazon. He works in the, you know, behind the scenes where you have to develop all the applications that are used within the business itself. Now, he's a software developer who works in a team of five people. And he's a person who thinks he's fine at coding, but he wants to be much better at it so he can improve his career and, you know, uh, overall be able to code much better applications that he was able to do before. So let's get into his mindset whenever we think about a tip. So now let's discuss the different tips to improve the programming skills. Strengthen your fundamentals. Now guys, this is very important. Strengthen your fundamentals. If you feel that you don't know the fundamentals properly, then you should definitely go ahead and strengthen your fundamentals. If you looked at this from the mindset of Jack, now Jack has had a lot of experience. He's learned in college and he's learned over work. He has two years of experience but he still feels some parts of his fundamentals are weak because he didn't pay attention to them or maybe he you know didn't need to use them so he didn't even concentrate on them like you know if he's very weak in class and object creation and um, that particular facet of coding then he needs to concentrate on that particular fact or that particular facet of coding so Similarly, you guys should look at all the different fundamentals of coding. Look at all the, you know, uh, if you, you know, look at everything, make sure that you have, you know, learned everything properly. Make, make sure that you understand everything. That is the most important thing here. If you understand something, then you can implement it better than if you didn't understand. If you just know about the code, okay, this is how we do it. This is the syntax. Then you're not going to do a better job than if you understood what that syntax does, why it does anything, right? So that's why strengthening your fundamentals is one of the biggest tips I can give you guys. Practice. Now, practice works with everything. And in case of coding, you need to practice all the data structures and all the algorithms that are out there. You know, you know, lists, uh, stacks, your uh, binary search trees, your hash maps, everything. You know, practice everything. And all the different algorithms, you have sorting algorithms, you have searching algorithms, you have many, many different types of algorithms. So try to practice all of these different kinds of algorithms. You have many websites for this particular thing. You can, you know, join a hacker rank or you can, you know, try it out, code chef, go to code academy, learn a little bit more about the fundamentals, data structures. If you feel this is weak, then definitely go ahead and practice this because practice makes perfect. And that, trust me, it actually works. If you practice something well enough, you can apply it without even thinking. It becomes instinctual. If you practice all the different types of data structures, when you are trying to solve a problem, it comes to you with a click. You don't have to worry about anything because you already practice so much that is ingrained in your brain. And similarly with Jack, right? Jack practices data structures. He tries to practice all the different kinds of data structures. So when it comes to coding different kinds of backend programs for his, you know, B2B uh, software development process, it becomes very easy for him. He doesn't, you know, disappoint his team leaders and he's able to code uh, things very fast and way more efficiently than he could before because he's practiced this so much. He goes home every day and practices for one hour data structures and all the different kinds of algorithms that are there. So guys, practice. Find your blind spot. So this is very important. Now let's take with Jack's uh, mindset again. So Jack is good at coding. He's average at coding, but he knows he's, you know, he's weak in some places. Now he's weak in binary search trees that are used a lot. If he, so he, that is his 
blind spot or maybe he doesn't know about it. generally people don't know about their blind spots so try to you know find your blind spot because blind spots are where you are losing your efficiency like some things you don't know about and you can't apply them because you don't know about them so make sure to find your blind spot and then learn about it and then apply it future in, in future read and review now this these two hours are very very important because you need to read other people's code you need to know how other people write their code because you will learn a lot when you look at someone else's code because you're learning something new when you see how they code it the standards of coding they use the type of indentation or the type of you know methodology that they're using what kind of function are they using what libraries are they using how do they write code all those things are, are very important because you learn from other people's experiences and then review once you've written your code you should get it reviewed by other people don't be afraid it's okay if the other people find faults in it it's all to all right we are humans right we make mistakes but we need to un, you know learn from those mistakes and become better so that's where review comes in where you ask your peers or your team leads to review your code and if you take jack's again mindset you know he works in a team of five people and all those four different people right they they are his peers they are much better than him so he feels very insecure when he has to you know show his code to other people but he shouldn't feel so because when other people look at his code they can review it they can tell him what's wrong and then they can help him improve so he starts to read other people's code he starts to give his code for other people to read review and in this whole process he becomes a much better coder or a programmer and you know in the end he can make amazing software efficient and successful all right so build your own project now this is something that i would recommend highly because building your own project is very important when you're learning to code right it is the same when you are actually trying to improve yourself also when you learn new things right so when i mean build your own project right you should build a project that you want to make suppose you like cricket a lot and you want to show others about some analytical ability or analytical method that you came up with now you create a website for it and you you know use your code in it and you then show it to others in this whole process you learn a lot of new things so let's take again jack's case now jack is really into you know uh, automating things at home itself he wants to automate a notification that goes to his roommate that tells him that food is ready so he codes he starts to code new things he starts to uh, write a new code where he's automating the whole process of sending an email to his parents that he's fine right uh, in sort of way to keep up to date with them so in that whole process he's learning new things so similarly guys you should be building your own projects but remember these projects that you want to build are something that you want to do just take any real life application and try to code into it right try to build that and that way you learn new things that way you'll uh, you know refine your coding process you know the more you do the more better you will become start competitive coding now again competitive coding sounds very stressful right because there's a lot of competition but i know a lot of you thrive on competition in jack's case he doesn't thrive on competition he is again you know he he doesn't want to he wants to prove himself but he doesn't want to feel like he's better than others but he still wants to improve himself so whenever he thinks of competition he, he gets stressed but don't worry about that competitive coding you know actually helps you improve a lot and that's the advice i would give jack as well as you guys you know you, you should start getting into competitions it's okay if you lose it's all right you it's okay if you see other people who are much better than you when you are going to competitive coding you are learning a lot more because competitive coding is very tough because you are uh, you know subjected to questions that you know bend your mind because they are uh, very uh, tough brain teasers because they make you think a lot since they make you think a lot they help you you know improve the way of your thinking if you uh, are able to come up with the answer for it you get gain more experience on how to solve a problem also that's why competitive coding is very difficult if you want to start competitive coding i would recommend hacker rank hacker earth or just code chef join any of these places and start doing all the questions they provide and you know do hackathons hackathons are important if you have in company hackathon then you should definitely attend those because they will help you gain you know gauge yourself how good you are and how better you can become Okay, guys. Now, lightning round. Now, I will go through a lot of smaller, uh, you know, tips that you should keep in mind when you are doing this.
Okay, read books. Books definitely help because you know they're written by people in and they give a comprehensive knowledge about particular topics and you know particular methodologies. Then explore other languages. Now you may be stuck to one language. If you explore new languages, you understand you know more standards in those other languages. You understand uh, better about how to code it in different ways because different languages have different limitations and different abilities, right? And similarly, explore other technologies also. Then write unit tests. Now, you writing unit tests helps out a lot. Unit tests can simulate error conditions and they can also check to make sure your code handles these conditions correctly. So if you write a lot of unit test cases for your different sets of codes, then you will understand what kind of error conditions may arise and how you can you know, resolve them. For example, your function through an exception under certain conditions. The unit testing tool should allow you to specify the exception that should be thrown before calling the function and hence improve the quality of your code. Then you have attend conventions. Now, when you attend conventions, you get exposure to a lot of new technologies that may be upcoming in the industry, and you get exposure to a lot of people who have years of experience. You get you get exposure to those you know uh, authors or those people you know who work beyond the limits of humanity. Like they are very smart, they know a lot about coding, and you get to know a lot about coding from them. Then oh, contribute to open source. Now, this is you know kind of akin to building your own project, but this this helps other people out also if you've created a package while you were with the mindset of improving your coding skills then you can give it you know to open source you can you know uh, put it on your github repository and tell everyone about it and they can also use it so you're helping yourself as well as helping others all right guys so make sure to keep these tips in mind when you're coding you know but you know try to improve you can always improve there's always room to improve even if you're one of those people who's like Albert Einstein of coding there's always room to improve all right guys now let's look at the learning path you guys can take so you know you have all the resources at your fingertips you have Google you have YouTube you have all the documentations where you can learn from also you guys can go ahead and check out our YouTube channel and telepaths YouTube channel and check out any you know uh, tutorials that you want on specific technologies like docker Splunk or uh, Kubernetes or whatever AWS or Azure whatever you want to check out and always you can check out our Intel path blog also and again guys if you're looking for a certification we do provide the same head to our uh, website intelpart.com and you know type in any particular topic you want to see suppose you want to check out angular js we provide angular js training in which you will be enrolled in classes we will be taught by people who have had years of experience with angular and you can do projects etc and if you're a person who's you know financially not available then it's all right you can always check out intelpart.com academy it is an initiative we started to you know uh, help people out during this uh, dire situation we have right now we're providing parts of our courses for completely free you can go ahead and check these courses out and uh, you know learn all, all the basics and if you really like them you can you know buy our courses okay guys i'll leave you with this youtube coupon code that is youtube 30 you get flat 30 percent off on all our courses thank you so much for watching yeah i'll see you guys next time